in Brisbane. The first hour was very difficult for the opening batsman. Michael Slater was dropped three times up there, viewers might remember. And uh, Mark Taylor had plenty of problems as well against Wazim Akram and Wakar Yunus. So it's going to be Wazim Akram, the skipper to bowl the first over. Be bowling from the river end, the Derwent end. And uh, in the commentary box, Ian Chappell, and alongside him, Greg Chappell. Thank you, Richie, and good morning to all our viewers, wherever they might be, both in Australia and overseas, as Pakistan captain comes in to bowl to Michael Slater. The first ball, and he's got it to swing late. There's an appeal. Darrell Hare has a good look at it. There's a bit of movement there already for Wasim Akram as he's got the ball to duck in very late to Michael Slater. He'll probably hit him just outside the line of off stump. Big shout there from Wazim Akram. He was very disappointed that he didn't get the decision. He got good support from behind the wicket. That swung a long way and late. He's got quite a breeze to bowl into here at uh, Bell Reeve. Again, some swing. Michael Slater wanting to get off the mark. And a misfield. We saw a uh, test match here between uh, Sri Lanka and Australia where there was some quite good outswing bowling from the same end that uh, Wazi Makram is operating from at the moment. Rumesh Ratnayaka, I remember, bowling good outswing. It's time the ball continues straight on. And Michael Slater has plenty to watch out for. The first morning of a test match, always difficult batting times, a little bit there for the bowlers generally. We saw Tony Gregg's pitch report talking about the moisture in the wicket few drier patches. Mark Taylor won the toss and elected to bat. As an opener, he's aware of the dangers of batting in the first session. There's going to be a little bit there with the new ball for the bowlers to get some movement from the pitch, but that's all part of the job of an opening batsman to get out there and blunt the attack, overcome the swing and uh, sideways movement from the pitch, and set the foundation for the remaining batsman. Very close that appeal against Michael Slater. Doesn't happen very often that an opening batsman gets out first ball of a test match. I do remember it happening to uh, South Africa's Eddie Barlow in Durban. He was caught and bowled by Graham McKenzie first ball of the match. But it is uh, it is a rarity. Swing again. This is an appeal and he's got him this time. And the Australians have lost their first wicket. Was the Akram. The Pakistani captain is really pumped up. He's got some movement. He's keen to get through the top order. And he's got a very, very important breakthrough for his team Australia here. Lost its first wicket. Michael well, he was disappointed he didn't get the first one, but there was never any doubt about this one. Bang on the toe. That's very similar to the one that uh, Saklane got at the Gabba. And umpire Hare had no hesitation on that occasion. And the Pakistan captain has done exactly what his team needs. Leading from the front, uh, Wazim, he's a fine cricketer. Michael Slater is gone for naught. <laughs> David Boone, the local hero, walks out to the middle of Bell Reeve Oval a little bit earlier than he would have expected or would have hoped for. He's in there at the end of the first over. We'll see the start now of a new over from the Church Street end. Mark Taylor will be facing his first ball. Wacker Yunus under a cloud before the game. Pronounced fit. A bit of a loosener. Wazi Makram, the Pakistan captain said at the toss that he'd uh, talked to his team and told them to do their best and that they had the ability to win the test match well he's certainly one who will have to do plenty if Pakistan are to win and he started in fine form unlucky not to get the uh, LBW first ball but he got it with the sixth ball and Michael Slater out for a duck he really is a fine cricketer and an inspirational cricketer and that's exactly what Pakistan need right now A little bit more effort in that delivery from 
Waka Yunus. As Amakram said at the toss that he had some stiffness in the upper back. There's just a little bit of movement there for him as well. Just a hint of in-swing to the right-hander. Seam up. Ball pitches on the seam. Didn't pass by the off-stump by very much. Moen Khan, the keeper. So Michael Slater will be the disappointed one. It's his second duck in Test cricket. Could well have been out the first ball of the morning. Only